During the 60s, Salvi is barely on the radar of the Mafia and the main Irish gangs in Somerville and Charlestown. In the North End, the Mafia dominates the city's organized crime. From here, Godfather Jerry Angiulo and his consigliere Larry Zanino take a cut from the rackets run by other gangs. Crime in Southie, however, is small time. But even here, gangsters still have to pay a street tax to the Mafia. Competing street gangs run nickel and dime gaming and protection rackets. James Bulger is an enforcer and deck collector for one of them. But Bulger's gang has rivals, seen here in a rare and battered old photograph, a cocky young group of robbers led by Pat Nee. We were thieves. We liked to steal and we liked to party. And we might make enough money on one score to last two or three months. But while we were out partying, we'd always be looking for the next, for the next one. Nee's gang operates in the South Boston docks in what is now the Conley Terminal. One of their specialties is raiding parked trucks full of the daily catch. A lot of money in tuna fish and crab meat. A lot of money in items that are sold every day. Goods that are consumed every day. That's what you would like to steal. One night in July 1969, in the same month that Neil Armstrong makes his giant leap for mankind, Nee's men are celebrating another successful heist. A drunken brawl breaks out with some of Bulger's gang members. By chance, both Nee and Bulger are in another bar nearby when they hear what's happening. The two share a ride to the fight, knowing they are about to become mortal enemies. And we pulled up, me and Whitey just kind of looked at each other. I said, well, it's the last time we'll be talking on this level. See you later. He said, see you later. Then uh, the shooting started. The war lasts from 1969 to 72. At first, it's Nee's gang who are on the receiving end, dodging Bulger's bullets in a deadly game of cat and mouse. Nee tries to hit back without success. He and Bulger are soon stalking each other. We were actually running around the projects in the middle of the afternoon. Uh, I had a rifle with a scope. He had a, an automatic weapon of some sort, and I kept trying to line him up in the scope, and he kept moving fast. And I couldn't get a clean shot, so I didn't take it. This is in the middle of the afternoon, and no one's seen anything. That's what Boston was like back then. But the war turns ugly when Nee's brother falls victim to a Bulger associate. When Peter got killed, I decided I could kill, and I started hunting. Nee is an ex-Marine with combat experience in Vietnam. He tracks his target with cold-blooded single-mindedness. One cold and wet night in November 1969, Nee finally confronts his brother's killer. I finally trapped him coming home. I creeped up the alleyway as he's parking. And then when he turned around, I said, well, it's your turn. And I opened up on him. I shot him over the heart, under the heart, blew out his right lung. Uh, I think I hit him twice in the stomach. I thought I hit him in the heart. And when he went down, I kicked his teeth out and I spit on him. Incredibly, Nee's brother's killer survives. But now Bulger knows that rival gang leader Pat Nee is a dangerous opponent. As war is breaking out among Irish gangs in South Boston, to the north, another Irish gang war is ending. 